excuse me, I had pictures of this being made and I had them on a website that I was using for my, to sell my art and pottery and stuff and uh, I closed that site down and um, anyway, I lost the pictures. I had them on there, my computer, my old computer went down, I lost all my stuff, I was, I never backed up, not a good thing, but I'd like to show you where I'm at on this part of the uh, Buick Roadmaster 2 project. This is the mold that I made and this was, <clears throat> I made this just of a piece of wood, putty, cloth, whatever, a couple pieces of pipe and I made the mold. I made two castings and I put the two casting halves together. Uh, you can see the two halves here put together, fiberglassed, and you can see where the holes were. Imagine it was each half. And then I made these pieces to go in there like that. PVC pipe and it's epo they're epoxy together and this front piece is the um, uh, fittings. I took fittings and cut uh, rings of the fittings, rotted both edges, and then cut them flat on one side, put all three together, epoxied them, and then the grill, it's actually come off, is just, uh, it's actually from a speaker grill that I cut, put in there, and bubbled out. So, this is just a um, cold air intake. But it's a lot better than just running it down in your fender, I mean, and it kind of, I think it's gonna look cool. Now this thing on the back is, uh, there's gonna be a piece of pipe coming off of that. You'll see all this later. Just wanted to explain what this was. Uh, this pipe is gonna go, and it's gonna be, uh, go down just into a small box, uh, probably by the fender, uh, and with no, nothing on it but a screen, because the air is gonna come in here when these are capped. In other words, when it's raining, uh, I'm gonna make a cap for these, to keep water from getting in on the filter, and um, that's when this back one will take, you know, actually be uh, functional. Now, and that'll have a cap on it too. So, you know, I can cap it if I want to, leave it open, cap these, whatever, depending on the weather. Um, the air comes in, and these are actually just two pieces of pipe that I split and put together so they're open. So the air comes in either from here or back here or both, comes down into my air box. Now, uh, this is, I really wanted to show this. This is kind of cool because uh, of the, the technique. Um, you know, Perry Pilot, well, I, I built RC planes. And one of the things that, uh, that I used to do, now I didn't invent this, I just kind of worked on it and uh, perfected it for me, you know, the technique of taking foam and sealing it with uh, wood glue, a thin layer of wood glue and then uh, putting fiberglass on it and, and newspaper, almost like paper mache making a shell for RC airplanes. And it's like, I did some, some testing. It's amazingly strong, like crazy strong with fiberglass, wood glue, and newspaper on foam, that's it. And uh, it was, it's so strong that I literally could not break a piece of it with my hands and uh, I did tests and pop, put weight on it and couldn't actually get it to break. I would have needed a larger piece to hold more weight to get it to actually break. So it is very strong, but more importantly, because I want to keep the, uh, the air insulated. You know, this is going to be setting on top of the engine and uh, actually facing, if you're looking at the front of the car, it'd be like this. And the scoop is going to be like that. And it's going to be sticking out through the hood, basically just the scoop. It's going to have the shake. I'm doing the outside first. And then I'm going to do the inside, and I don't know if you can see in there, um, I'm going to be uh, basically porting that, sanding it and everything out of the outside is fiberglass, so it's more rich and I can work with it. And then the inside will be fiberglass as well. Now the top of this, I can take this off now, I taped these together temporarily so that I, it wouldn't, they wouldn't warp from the glue. And this top piece will be attached to the scoop. And then I used uh, two air filters instead of one. And one, the air directly goes through, but there is uh, a one inch gap, a slot for the second one. And that's just to, basically, I figured more surface area has got to be better for better airflow. Now that whole top is going to uh, bolt down, uh, four bolts to bolt it down to the top of this. And then you take it off and you can change filters. Now, 
and remember that this is all going to be fiberglass, so it will be more rigid. And you can see here, this is the inside of the box. And this is what I'm talking about. All this is going to be gone. Uh, all of this will be sanded down real thin uh, after it's fiberglass, after the outside is fiberglass. And you can see a little bit more. I think you can see, uh, like that, the opening into, and this will all be cut away. And this will all be sanded down here and putty and smooth and fiberglass all the way back. Okay, I'm done babbling. I've got to get back to work. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this down to rough edges and give it one more coat and then it'll be ready to uh, putty. I am going to putty this piece, the whole, the whole thing, make it pretty. And uh, let's start. Pop down the bumps here, and the edges and the hairs that are sticking out carefully. This, is, uh, this, this top piece I'm actually going to have a flange on this. So I'm not going to putty this or finish this until that's done, but I don't know where I don't know where exactly that's going to be until I mount this thing and see it, how it lines up with the hood exactly. 